today I'm going to step you through the industry's new nymph based sampling technique for silverleaf whitefly. Compared to the old sampling technique which focused on adults, nymph sampling has a number of advantages because the nymph stage is immobile and therefore time of day doesn't affect sampling accuracy and the nymphs also provide a more accurate marker for a future population that's building up within your crop. Silverleaf whitefly populations naturally fluctuate. So your sampling needs to be strategic and should commence around 1000 day degrees or shortly after first flower. This new sampling technique is focused on counting nymphs on the undersides of leaves located in the mid canopy about 11 to 14 nodes from the top of the plant. The easiest way to identify the middle canopy section between nodes 11 and 14 is to find the uppermost unfurling leaf which is node 1. If we go directly across from that this leaf here is node 5 and then if we go down directly underneath leaf 5 to the next leaf that's within that plane that's node 8 and if we go underneath that leaf to the next one down this one here is node 11 and that's where we would start our sampling so it's this leaf or the next couple of leaves underneath that. So once you've identified the approximate zone within the canopy that you're sampling from, you can then move through the crop because we need to sample at least 30 leaves at well spaced locations at least 3 to 5 metres apart, taking a bit of a zigzag pattern through the crop so that the samples you're taking are at least representative of the population that might be within your field. As you're collecting leaves you have two choices. You can either gather all of your leaves and return to the vehicle and look at them in the shade or you might choose to look at them in situ. But the important thing is, is to examine the whole underside of the leaf, identifying any large nymphs. You then will need some magnification, such as a hand lens, to examine those nymphs to determine whether they're viable red-eyed nymphs or whether they've been parasitised by something like Eretmoceros. Record the number of viable and unviable nymphs. This sampling information can then be entered into the decision support tool, which is available for download from the Cotton Info website. This tool enables you to track your silverleaf whitefly population within your crop over time against crop development day degrees and provides guidance as to appropriate management measures for silverleaf whitefly in your crop. This new nymph based sampling tool is a much more effective technique for monitoring silverleaf whitefly populations in your field and should overcome some of the vagaries that were associated with adult sampling that have proven problematic in some valleys over the last few years.